me Donna I'm back again if you're new to my channel welcome if you're somebody who's been here before and come back welcome to you and thank you for coming back today it is a charity shop haul and try on video some of this stuff um I've had a couple of weeks or maybe longer um and some of this stuff I bought recently so I thought um I'll do a little uh, video because um some of the stuff I actually want to wear but I wanted to show it in the video first and um I, I actually want to wear this stuff that I've got, it, it, it says, but I need to sort out that wardrobe. I know I'll keep going on. I think I've said several times in the videos that uh, this wardrobe needs sorting because it's a bloody mess. Um, I literally can hardly get anything out of there anymore. I can't put stuff in, I can't get stuff out. I'm wearing the same clothes all the time. <laughs> it's a good job I wear a uniform at work, which is in that side, which is that side is a neat side. Uh, yeah, that side's a neat side. That side uh, looks like a bleeding floor drain, not a wardrobe. I will show you. Now, uh, bear in mind if you're a tidy freak, and um, Liam hates his wardrobe because his wardrobe, he's got the wardrobe in our bedroom, so that's why I had this one because it just seemed easier for me. <coughs> excuse me, to have this wardrobe because this is where I get ready in the morning. So, right, anyway, basically Liam's wardrobe is all very nice, neat, uh, colour coordinated, jeans, shirts, everything is all super, super tidy, like, which is weird, like, you know. And then you get my wardrobe, like, it says, um, it's bad. I know it's bad, so um, please don't judge me. I got, right, I can hardly hear if the trap keeps coming off. Um... That's half of it. It's bloody mess, isn't it? Half of the stuff I don't. All that side there is jeans and jumpers and stuff. I think the only time I've worn half the stuff is showing you on a video. No, um, let's close it now. <laughs> um, uh, I'm gonna come off the track again. Right, it's come off the track. Look, see there? It's just come out. Oh bloody hell! Um, anyway, uh, I'm just going to fix that and then we'll get on with the video. Bloody thing. Hang on. This is a black top, as you can see, with lacy bits. I think I've got several ones like this top, but I like these sort of tops. And this is a, I just said Asta, didn't I? It's an Asta one, not Matalan. Wasn't from Matalan. And it's from St. Mary's. And I think it was a pound. I think that says a pound. That's all right, you know. Now I've recently been watching some video on a uh, some woman on Instagram. You know the reels, how random they are. Some woman, basically, she shows what she's wearing every day. Like you know, for some reason, I watch it. Um, and she had one little tip come up about um, to look slimmer. Instead of wearing your tops out, you look slimmer if you tuck them in. Mm -mm. <laughs> you know, so uh, I've started to tuck my tops in. I don't know if it's work, whether she's just having me on. <laughs> So anyway, when I show you this, um, I'll tuck it in. It's got like t-shirt in material down the bottom, which I like. So uh, I've got blue cords on today. They were this is charity. Everything I wear is charity shop, apart from underwear, obviously. <laughs> like you know, um, they do sell bras in charity shops, and bras are bleeding expensive, ain't they? So um, anyway, I'm going to try this one on. So hang on. This top is extremely unflattering. Um, you can see my bra strap, so I don't know if I should have worn a new bra. But, um, <laughs> there's just nothing to it, is there? It looks bloody stupid there. Took me ages to do the buttons up at the back. Let's um, tuck it in like the woman says. Let's see if it um, improves by being tucked in. I don't think it has, innit? Hang on. <laughs> Right, so, tuck it in, because uh, it's supposed to make you look slimmer, but, um, I go, <laughs> get in, bleeding horrible. Oh. And I like it, the bloody stupid top is it, I kind of top to them out where you could, oh. Um, no, no matter what angle I'm going at here, it still looks pretty stupid. So I don't like this top, so but no, I'm not keeping this one. Not quite sure why I bought this one. 
And it was actually three pounds. It must have been one of them days, you know, when you go around the charity shops and you don't see anything you fancy, so you get a bit desperate because you don't like to leave empty-handed. So this is a limited edition. Who is that? Is that Marx's? Um, yeah, it is M&S. Um, and that was three pounds. I think this might have been from the Sue Rider in West Heath. And it's just like um, just a blue boxy top. I'm turning my nose up now and I don't know why I'm turning my nose up because I bought it I must have liked I think it's this trim bit that I like around I thought it looks a bit like posher but um yeah I'm a little bit confused now <laughs> I bought that but uh, I think I got this from St Mary's which was a couple of doors up some Avon now varnish and I think it was only 50p 50p I ain't got it on, I've got a different now, but I've got my Poundland now, I'm just on to die. 50p from now on, is that's alright in it? If it goes on, okay, because sometimes I find it harder to put lighter colours on than I do darker colours, which is weird. Do you think it'd be the other way round? I don't like it. I don't know why I bought it. It's too tight round the arms, but it's cutting off the uh, blood circulation. It stops there. Why did I buy it? Why? It's, it's, um, yes, it's got a nice trim around the arm and around the neck. And I suppose if, if you can't see, um, from there to there, it looks okay, doesn't it? But then you get to the arms. I don't like it. I'm not keeping this one, though. I know I do have several denim tops, right, but they're not quite like this one. I'm not make sure they're not. The last one I had, like, I had a little frilly bit there, and the other ones were longer, where this is more of a shirt. And um, it was £3. And I think I got this from the St Mary's in Bartley Green. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, I know, I've got several like it, but it's not quite the same. I know they're not. And I got this necklace from... I think it was Age UK. Oh, you can't see it. Hang on. <laughs> you can't even see that. Um, Age UK in Catsill for, I'm almost sure it's 50p. So, can I do it up there? It's got a screw top, not a screw top. Little barrel. So, I'm going to see if I can actually do it up. Can I do it up? Hang on. Is it going to work? Oh, I'm going to get somewhere. I think that's on. Oh, bloody hell, it's cold. That's all right. Oh, my shoes. Bloody hell, freezing. Anyway, I've got a new, um, got my new nail varnish and a new uh, necklace that I don't need because um, when I was doing reselling, I've got about um, five boxes of jewellery up in my loft, but I don't think I've seen one like that. So that's a thumbs up for my new necklace. And next item is, oh, hang on. Now I've got to show you, show you uh, that top on, you know. So hang on. So yeah, you're going to see me wearing the denim top. So I'm going to stop this and then you'll see me wearing this one. No, I'll show you this one. I like this, it fits okay. It actually does up. Because I think the last one that I had that's similar to this book with little roughly bits there i think it was a little bit snug to do up which is why i used to wear a top underneath and leave the buttons undone because it was a bit too um a bit too tight but uh yeah got nice buttons i think it fits um okay so let's see how it looks tucked in um with cords i've got cords on so hang on let's have a look let's try and, uh, try and dress myself Hang on, right, so she's, I, I keep talking about that bleeding woman, I don't know who she is, but she says, I like, tuck stuff in, oh. <laughs> I don't think she meant denim stuff though. No, I think that looks better out, doesn't it? So, uh, yeah, I'll leave that out. I think that looks a bit better out. So, yeah, that's another thumbs up. So, we're uh, happy again. This is just like um, a black woolly top. It's from TU. It is Sainsbury's, isn't it? And it's three pounds. And it, it's just slots out. It's well, it's not super, super plain. It's got little holes there. Look, 
But for three pound, I thought that was all right. God knows what it's going to uh, end up like when it comes out the wash. But if it shrinks in the wash, that's when I can tuck it in, isn't it? So um, you watch this will be the only thing that comes out of our tum tumble dryer the same size. Everything else shrinks. Okay, <laughs> hang on, I'll show you. I'll try it on, hang on. Like this, nice long sleeves. It's not too tight. It's nice and baggy. And I don't know if you can see, it's quite a nice length. So yeah, this one's a winner. Happy days. Polar neck. Because um, everybody needs a polar neck, don't they? And this was a, a grand total a pound and this was from the Bernardo's was it Bernardo's? I'm sure it's from Bernardo's what doesn't it say? It's oh yes it does and he's telling you to look at the rebay shop as well but this was from the Bernardo's in real they've got a big grand um, Bernardo shop obviously <laughs> and everything's super cheap so I've got this I think I bought a dress as well which I'll show in another haul video but yeah Hopefully it's not too snug, but we'll see. Hang on. It's a little bit snug, but it's okay actually, because it's quite thin. Um, it's all right, yeah, so I've ruffled it a bit there, because when you put it like that, <laughs> that's what it looks like. So I thought if I ruffle it up a little bit, it might look a little bit. It looks silver on here, but it's like grey. But yeah, it is um, quite <laughs> it's a little bit snug. Well, it's more snug around the neck, actually. Hang on, let's tidy it up. Let's tidy the neck bit up. It's actually tighter. Like I said, I'm almost sure I've got um, bigger than average head. Because <laughs> uh, it was I struggled to get it over my head. <laughs> but yeah, I quite like it. This was a pound, wasn't it? One pound. Yeah, I am proper chuffed with this. I said, this is, um, I think it looks better ruffled, doesn't it? It does, doesn't it? Am I kidding myself? <laughs> okay, this one's a thumbs up. Scarf. Another scarf. I think this was from um, St Mary's in West Heath. I think it might have been just like 150 or something. But I thought, you know, you can never have enough scarves, can you? And I like the colour. So, um, yeah, another little scarf. I'm almost sure. I'm, I'm trying to think how much it was. I can't remember. It's got to be like one fifty. I wouldn't have paid two pound for a scarf because they're only ninety five p in um, HUK in Rubri. Nearly where well, all the scarves are. So um, yeah, I liked it. It's um, it's blue. <laughs> From the pain basket in. Is it called Headway, in Rubri? I'm all, I, for, I always forget the name of it because I've changed. It used to be a Bernardo's, then it closed, then I'm almost sure it's a headway. And at one point, the clothes in there and the prices got really expensive to the point where you just never, nobody ever bought anything. And now they've got a new manager and they had a sign out and my foot's a chin. And they had a, um, you know, when you get a chin foot, it's like sometimes when you get cramp in your big toe in it, you're like, What's that all about? Well, you know, well, I've got a pain in my toe at the moment, my big toe, and I think it's because of these these items that I'm going to show you now, not the one, the other one. Right, I'll show you the first one. Um, a pair of uh, mustardy colour shoes uh, from Next, and they were a pound, and they've barely been worn. So I'll show you what those are like on. And they are, I think they're too big for me. And they're size six. Six and a half, yeah. So they're a little bit big, but they still fit what I'll show you. And the reason I think my toes been hurting for the past couple of weeks, because I also bought these shoes. These are Marks and Spencers. I don't know if you can see. And they're suede. And they look really, really comfortable, don't they? They're not. I wore these to a night out a few weeks ago. And since then, my bloody big toe has been hurting. And I've been thinking, was it my nail that needed cutting? Because I don't like cutting my toenails, because like, it's really awkward. Um, and then I looked at my toenails, and they're not long. So I thought maybe it was that. And then I thought, did I cut them afterwards? Did I cut them down too far? And that's hurting. But anyway, basically, I think um, this 
foot. My right foot is bigger than my left foot because my toes only just starting to um, feel normal again. Because as soon as I put these on, I was all right until I started to walk and then the pain kicked in and then I started to regret wearing them. Um, but I didn't have tights on or anything. I just had a bare, bare toes. So maybe next time wear some like flesh coloured um, tights. But I'll show you what they look like on. They look all right on. They're just um, not practical. How women walk around in these bleeding things all day. <laughs> I mean, they, they must have rock hard toes or something. Or they've just gone past the pain barrier. But anyway, I'll show you what they look like on. So... Grey and black, I don't know what you call this pattern, trousers, I think that was from the St Mary's in Bartley Green, I think, to you, and they were a pound, so they were, that's why I got them, what did they originally, three pounds, so they were cheap originally, and you got a belt, look, belt, uh, so um, try these on, see if they actually fit, Pounds of proper bargain in it. Hang on then. Um, Sue Ryder in West Heath. Some electric blue, brand new with tags from South, which I don't know if it's a catalogue company. Trouser jogger thingies, and they were two pounds seventy five. But they look a very very um slim fit, don't they? <laughs> so uh, I, I'm not sure these are going to fit. You know. Because there's no give. There's literally no give. What's, they are size 12, aren't they? Hang on, let me just double check the size. Size 12 short. Now, although I am short, I'm 5 foot 2, I tend to go for standard length trousers because uh, the short ones are up your ankles, aren't they? So I can, these cords that I've got on today, I think are short. They're alright, but I would have preferred them like about an inch longer. But, um, we'll try them on. Unfortunately, these bloody things, too bleeding small, <laughs> can't even do them up. Took me ages to get them over my bleeding bum, and I couldn't do them up, so they can bubble up. So uh, I thought I'd try the grey trousers with this grey top and my blue shoes to see what it looked like. They're really comfy trousers. Can you see the shoes? They fit really nice. So these are shoes. Hang on, which um, they're not too bad now I'm walking around here, which is annoying because, uh, like I said, they nearly killed me the other week when I wore them. But um, I think they suit this all right. I don't know. Maybe wear a white top. If I ever wear them outdoors at all, because um, that's my knees. I normally like my jeans, don't I? So uh, that's them. Um, we've the blue shoes so let's try them with the mustard shoes they've got a mark on where's that mark some scuffy mark there but I thought well no one would notice that would they so let's see what they look like with the mustard shoes so mustard let's have a look hang on can you see them mustard Pound. <laughs> so I've got my pound top on and my pound shoes. And they, these actually don't feel they've got a little cushy bit in the um, the bottom, which then buggers hadn't. So they actually feel a bit more comfortable. So um I might try this with a different top hang on. I thought I'd try with this white top which I've shown in a previous haul video. It's from Zara. It's uh, very thin, but I thought it seemed to look a bit better with the um, the grey. Maybe it's more summer trousers, I don't know, but they didn't feel very summery. No, well they're thin, but they're thin, but not very thin, so um, maybe they're more summery. They're a bit smart, aren't they? I think um, my shoe nearly fell off then, because I think it's a six and a half as well. But like I say, these shoes are more comfortable than the um, them other bleeding blue ones. Because look, they've got some padding thing in there. Which are these buggers in? Oh, they have. They have. There's padding in there, but you can't feel it. I'll tell you where they need padding. Bloody there. <laughs>
covered everything in this haul so um some good some not so good and you're kind of like well th that's the way it goes in it i mean you can buy stuff from normal shops can't you get it home and it don't fit but then you pay 30 40 pound and like you've got to take it back for a refund and that and you're like bloody hell <laughs> you know unless you're one of these people who try stuff on in shops which I, i've never done i've never liked the changing room experience maybe years ago where was i can't remember what shop it was like a multi-changing room with loads of women in. I'm like, no, thank you. <laughs> you know? So since then, I think I've scarred for life, and I've like, um, I've never gone into a char um, changing room since. And um, anyway, my point was, when you buy stuff from the charity shops, when you're paying one pound, two pound, three pound, you don't need to try it on because if it doesn't fit, it's not a big deal, is it? You either give it to somebody else who you know it will fit, or you give it back to the charity shop, just recycle it, give it back to them when you've had a sort out. Um, <laughs> or you just bundle it all up and sell it on Facebook so you get a little bit of money back but either way you're still saving loads of money so if you've never been in a charity shop before you don't know what you're missing you're missing some cracking bargains <laughs> you know <laughs> just some stuff is just amazing I say so I did reselling for a while as some of you might know and some of the stuff people give away you can make a good profit on it. You can make a living from um, second-hand items. Some people do. And fair play to them because it's all about recycling, isn't it? So there's an advert on the telly of a young girl. I think it's for washing powder or something. Where she's saying that all the clothes she, she's got is all one from her aunt and one from somebody else. So even the youngsters are into recycling now. So I'm trendy. I'm on trend for once in my life. <laughs> you know. So thank you all for watching, everybody. If you want to follow me on Instagram, it's Donna the Brummie. If you want to give this video a thumbs up, that'd be ice. Um, I seen the other day, I don't know how long it's been, but you can't see the thumbs down anymore, can you? So um, I, d I don't know what that's all about, but I suppose if you do give me a thumbs down, nobody else can see it. <laughs> but it all acts as um, interaction, doesn't it? Thumbs down, thumbs up, positive, negative, it's all interaction, which hopefully boost your video up in the um search bar thingy so uh, yeah um i've got to do my hair video soon and i i might do that next or tomorrow i'm not sure but i, I got gifted um a five piece hair curling set thing so um i've got to do that at some point you know so thank you again <laughs> um until next time try